What's going on, everybody? This is Plug Into Jesus by KCQ Good Tree Youth Ministry. As always, stay plugged and stay connected. In the middle of your hardship, if someone comes to you and says, you know what? All that you're going through right now is going to bring something that is beyond your imagination and expectation. I mean, it's going to bring you glory of God and you will be able to bring glory to God. It's hard for us to connect our affliction of our lives to something called God's grace, God's love, and His mercy towards us, and His glory. But today's passage, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 10 through 13, allows us to understand that being afflicted as you are in Christ, it actually is very beneficial for us, especially for our spirit, and overall for our lives. So you guys want to learn about it? Let's not delay, but let's get right into it. All right, friends, welcome back to another episode of Biblical Teaching and Encouragement. Today, I would like to talk about that affliction that we may experience in Christ Jesus. As we follow Him, as we are being children of God, it may bring God's glory to us and also bring glory to God. And for us to dig in, in that word and that knowledge, I would like to start with reading the scripture. Uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. Uh, if you have a Bible with you, please open up. Uh, but if not, please just uh, follow me and listen to me carefully. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. According to his eternal purpose, that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. This is the word of God. Amen. We learned before, friends, the author of this book, of course, ultimately is God, but God wrote this book of Ephesians through Apostle Paul and as he was writing this letter to people in Ephesus to believers in Ephesus he was in a jail for he was proclaiming Christ Jesus the gospel but still in the midst of his afflictions let's say oppressions for who he is disciple of Christ and for what he was doing proclaiming and declaring Christ Jesus as the Savior he still seems like very confident and happy. Why? Because he sees the glory of God. What do you mean by glory of God? In glory of God, friends, you're afflicted, but at the same time, you're not afflicted. You become more powerful. You become more stronger uh, in terms of your faith, in terms of your confidence. That's why in verse 12, it says, In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. How many of us can feel in jail, right? By being in jail, you feel like, oh, I'm free man, I'm free person. No one, right? You would agree with me. Why is that? In jail, you are restricted to move around. You are not allowed to be outside. You have no freedom. You are treated, you are marked, you are called, defined as a criminal. But because Paul was in jail as he was doing the right thing to do, which is calling people to Christ Jesus or through him to our Father for reconciliation. Yes, that's a big word for you, friends. But reconciliation means sinners like us who are not able to come to our Father God who loved us but who was betrayed by our sin. We could never get reconnected with him or be with him in one presence. But now that we were brought to Him through Christ Jesus, we experience total freedom from sin, from its presence and its power. And as Paul was freed, rescued from the state of sinner through Christ Jesus, now he's so confident about speaking of Christ Jesus to other people and for that he was put in jail. But still, he was so free. 
He was a such a free man, and he was more overconfident of what he was doing. When there is affliction in Christ Jesus, friends, that means all that you are going through, it may bring you God's glory. And that God's glory comes to you as a freedom and confidence in the midst of affliction. We tend to lose our faith, strength, power, confidence. Am I doing the right thing? Is this something that I was supposed to go through? But friends, as far as you are in Christ, even if you are going through some difficult moments, hardships, something that is not even describable, be sure that you should stay encouraged. Why? Because first, you are not alone. And as you've placed your life in Christ Jesus, the one who sacrificed himself so that you could leave, he's still with you. He's never going to leave you. So you should be sure about it. You are going through afflictions, not outside of Christ, but in Christ. That's why you can be so sure about everything will be led to God's glory. It's going to bring to the moment when God is praised and you are being so blessed that you will understand why God would have allowed you to go through all these challenging moments of your life. And lastly, friends, what I want to tell you is when we say not only we are able to experience God's glory as we are in affliction in Christ, but also it can bring glory to God, what could be more glorious than to God? Rather than bringing more people to our Father in heaven, the creator of all the, all the things on the earth and the earth itself, and us be praised and let others know that He is our true Father in heaven and He is the one who loves us so much. I know a lot of friends, a lot of you guys have asked me before, Pastor, how can I show to other people without faith that Christ lives, that Christ really died for us, and He really resurrected from the grave, from His death? And with all that being done, He conquered the death, and we are free people. And it happened because God loved us so much. How can we communicate that? How can we, let's say, demonstrate, express, improve our faith? There are many ways we can do it. But being afflicted, as you guys are being Christ followers, children of God, depends on how you guys are reacting. Depends on how you guys respond to your afflictions and hardships and difficulties. People will see whether there is God or not. Of course, ultimately, God proves by himself that he is the only God who deserved or who deserves to receive all the glory and, and being trusted by everyone on the earth. But as we are called to do the God's mission, which is calling other people to him, invite them to our God who can redeem them, who, could sa who can save them, who can free them. Friends, we are to stand strong and never get discouraged. Why? Because it depends on how we strongly stand against or in the midst of our afflictions. It may show others that as we have a hope in Christ, as our life lies in Christ, as there is a God who leads us and guides us, as God truly loves us, yes, He's an invisible God, but He's a self-existing, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-present God, and He is with us, and we know that we believe that. We can stand strong on our ground, even during the hardships that we may experience in our lives. And other people must see that. But friends, just for the sake of showing to others that Christ really lives and He is our Savior, are we not motivated to stand strong in the middle of affliction? We may not in the level of our faith, but that's fine. But at least you should remember that God loves you and God always wants to give you hope. And with all that you may go through, God wants, to, God wants you to see that there is one 
that you should always rely on, that should always draw your attention to, that you always would place yourself, be comforted, be encouraged, and be confident at where you are. Friends, that's all I wanted to share with you. So any afflictions, any difficulties you may are experiencing right now, friends, I assure you that God will bring you His glory to you. And you will bring glory to God. And God's glory will be with you. Meaning you will stand strong in freedom and confidence and everywhere you are, in everything you do. Allow me to pray for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and we want to thank you for teaching us that as we are in Christ, even afflictions may draw us closer to you and allow us to have your glory in our life and also bring glory to you. Lord, allow us to stand strong and experience the freedom that no one can give to us, Lord, except your Son, Christ Jesus, and allow us to firmly stand in faith in your Son. And would you allow us to also be confident in everything we do, Lord? We want to give hope to others that they should also place their life in Christ and also allow us to remember that you love us and you will never abandon us or leave us behind. So anytime we go through some difficult moments and hardships, we would be able to draw our attention to you and fix our eyes on you, Lord. Father, we love you so much, but we want to love you more. Help us to serve you better, glorify you better, and love our neighbors. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you guys were encouraged by listening to this word. Friends, don't be afraid, don't be scared, don't be stressed out. I know it's hard to go through those moments, but as far as you remember that you are in Christ, and as you are in Christ, afflictions may always give you chances to grow in faith. Much love to you guys in Christ. Blessings, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.